she goes, she wants to fly, so we hold it there, grab her away. Whee! There it is, oh, oh wow, it is, it's Hogwarts! Yay! Clip up! Well hello and welcome to Eshot Airfield in Northumberland. It's a lovely little airfield around 30 miles north of Newcastle near to the town of Annick. Today we're taking a flight back home to Gamston Airfield with a little sightseeing and avoidance of some broomsticks along the way. So Eshot Airfield here is very, very short runways. There's two short runways. They're about five, 600 meters long each. They're only 12 meters wide, which is actually only two meters wider um, than the wingspan of the PA-28 that we're in at the minute. It, than the PA-28 that we're in at the minute. Um, so it's very narrow, very short. But it's in a beautiful part of the world. We're going to be on 2-6 today. There's no air to ground today. There's nobody in the tower, so we're just going to make blind calls. It's a traffic service today, so when we get to the end, I want to do my run-up checks, and we'll call that we're lining up, and then we'll go down to backtrack on 2-6, and we'll do a short field takeoff from 2-6 here at Eshot, Northumberland. Eshot traffic, Golf Bravo, and number Oscar, Mike, PA-28, entry to backtrack in runway 26 for departure. Eshot traffic. Okay, so we'll have the landing light uh, on because we're entering the runway and also with it being uncontrolled and unmanned makes us a little bit more visible. Um, fuel pump is on. So you can see how narrow this runway is as we're taxiing down it now. We're literally overhanging pretty much at both sides of the aircraft. Um, it's a very narrow runway. Not very short as well. But it's awesome fun. We're going to do a short field takeoff today, and I love those. Feel the power. Uh, yes. <laughs> How narrow this bloody runway is. Oh. Okay, cool. I want to use every inch of this runway today. Okay, so we have flux to take off. We're going to hold the brakes, set the power. Go down, we're going to stay in ground effect until we reach 70 knots, and then we're going to go whoop, and up we go. On the brakes, power set. Take off power. Release the brakes, and off we go. T's and P's in the green. Air speed is alive. And the end of that runway is coming up very, very fast. Uh, 50 knots. There she goes, she wants to fly, so we hold it there. 65, and woof! And we're away. Whee! Goodbye, Eshet. So there's 500, well, on the first stage. 500 above sea level, by the way, just 300 above ground level. Yeah. And there's the second stage. Ooh, there we go. I'm going to depart to the north today because I want to go fly over something very cool uh, before we head down south. We're going to head up to Hogwarts, the very same Harry Potter. Um, and it was actually filmed here at Annick Castle, which is just up the road from here. So we're going to go up and have a bomb over Hogwarts, watching out for the uh, witches on broomsticks and the Quidditch match that's not no time today, but hopefully um, they are on the ground today. We don't want to see um, wizards flying past us on their broomsticks. Okay, thousand feet, fuel pump off, landing lights off. Call from the mic, uh, departing for the north, changing to Newcastle 124 decimal. Oh, there it is. There's Abbey Castle. Oh, it's Hogwarts. Oh, there's a flying blue car heading towards me. Whoa, avoidance, avoidance. Oh, he was close. Let's head over there. We're going to literally just go to the north, past Annick Castle. There it is. Oh, wow, it is. It's Hogwarts. Yay! 
<laughs> That's pretty flippy cool, that is. There we go, look at that. Hogwarts. The actual one. So it does look like there's a Quidditch match in place, actually. Loads of people out on the lawn at the back, that's where they do the Quidditch matches. Cool. Right, there we go. Let's get out of here before we get spotted by Dumbledore. And he uses a spell to cast us from the sky for not following noise abatement procedures over the, over the castle. Okay, we're going to head down to the coast and we are going to follow it all the way down to the south. Newcastle, Hartley Pool, and then down to all, all, and then from all across the Umbra Bridge and back into Gamston. There we go. Goodbye, Annick. Very pretty little town. Very pretty little town. I will speak to Newcastle in a minute. Get the Derby visit clearance. Do it as own like. Or uh, the Boyer uh, Boy Grove bit. They'll give us a score code, like man. We can go do the tune. Are you over new Newcastle? You got the radar. Good afternoon, Golf Pro. Zone in advance. Am I requesting a zone transit on basic service? This is calling Castle Radar. Uh, say again the call sign. It's Golf Pro. Zone in advance. Oscar Mike. Golf Pro. Zone in advance. Mike. Castle Radar. Good uh, afternoon. Pass message. Hey, Golf Pro. Zone in advance. Oscar Mike is a B28 routing a shot to Gamston. Currently overhead amble at 2,000 feet. Requesting a zone transit. We're going to just fly down the coast. Was Mike Rogers, Squawk 3751, you come to QNH 1029, I'll report you altitude. Squawk 3751, I say come to QNH, please, for Ram Golf Oscar Mike. You come to QNH 1029. QNH 1029, and we're at 2,100 feet on that QNH, Golf Oscar Mike. Right, so Mike, descent to altitude 2,000 feet on passing 10 DME, clear dial at approach, runway 25, QNH 1029. Three four dialers on passing two miles and just establish on the localizer, uh change two thousand feet back in shortly. Call Boss Mike, basic service. Basic service, call Boss Mike. Should one three hotel report you heading to Scottish Control, one three three decimal eight, bye bye. One thirty three eight, shadow one three hotel, bye. Call Bravo November, Oscar Mike, clear to cross control airspace, following the coast southbound, fill up a box two thousand five hundred feet VFR. Fitted transit move and so on. Off the coast, following the coast, uh, not above 2,500 feet. VFR, Golf, Bravo, Nevada, Oscar Mike. Golf, Oscar Mike, correct. I went to saw CTA. Wait for him to give us a radar service. Golf, Oscar Mike, radar control service. Radar control, Golf, Oscar Mike. And oh, look, there's Time Mouth down there. Rachel likes Time Mouth. I like Time Mouth, actually. It's a lovely, a lovely little town. There's Newcastle over there. Or right over there in the distance. Okay. I do want to climb a bit when we get further south. If we can. And if it remains this bumpy. Golf Oscar Mike, there's now no level restriction. No level restriction, uh, Golf Oscar Mike. Am I just leaving controlled airspace? It's now basic service. Basic service, Golf Oscar Mike. Now we've got no level restriction, so we're going to set that power. Let's try and climb a little bit to get out of this bumpiness. Okay, so we're at 3,000 feet, and it's still pretty clear, so let's head up to 4. I think if we get to 4, because there's a bit of cloud sitting around at 3 up From there. Heading to Scottish, 133, Heading to Scottish, 133, Bye bye. Goodbye, sir. Got fast to mic, change call, 7041. Score 7041, call fast to mic. Uh, seven, zero, four, one. There we go. Golf Oscar Mike, continue now with uh, T side radar to have your details. Frequency one one eight decimal eight five five. 
Over to Tucson, one one eight decimal eight five five. Golf off from Mike. Thanks for the help. Bye. One one eight eight five five. Tucson approach. Good afternoon again. Golf Bravo November off from Mike. Golf Bravo November off from Mike. Tucson radar basic service QNH one zero three zero. Basic service QNH one zero three zero. Golf off from Mike. Seaside radar, good afternoon, mid up 01, passing 1700, flying in flight level 130, direct Casco. Mid up 01, Seaside radar, what type of service do you require in leaving the short airspace? A traffic service, mid up 01. Mid up 01, what's the traffic service in leaving? Traffic outside, mid up 01. Mid up 01, Mike, what's your next turning point, please? And we'll be the golf off, Mike. Right. Ah, there's Whitby down there. So we've seen Harry Potter's castle, Hogwarts, and we're just running the Dracula's castle at Whitby. Well, at Whitby as well. Let's listen to Humber side, see what the weather's doing down there. Here we are then back on the ground at Gamson after my 1 hour 20 minute flight back from Northumberland. I hope you enjoyed this week's video, let me know what you thought to it down in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss one of my pilot vlogs. In the meantime, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.